Once you can swim underwater in Hello Kitty Island Adventure, you start seeing all sorts of critters underwater and you probably want to know how to catch them. Eventually, as you start unlocking quests, you'll see the bubble wand quest come up and this is going to be the tool that you need to catch all of these underwater critters. So let's walk through each step in the bubble wand quest because some of them can be a little bit tricky and I know I went the wrong way for part of this quest so let me save you some time and show you the shortest route to some of the locations that this quest requires you to go to. Once you have this quest on Unlock, the first thing you'll do is go see Hangudon at the comedy club. And once you do fast travel there, you talk to Hangudon and he tells you that he needs some sapphire sea ponies to liven up the stage. And he tells you that in order to catch them, you're going to need the bubble wand, which is kind of like a net you can use underwater, but it shoots out bubbles. And that's going to be the start of the quest. So the first step is you're going to follow hanging on over to one of these signs that's underwater, one of the little bulletin boards. You may have clicked on these as you've been exploring. And once you click on it, it brings up this picture next to the sunken ship, showing you the fast travel point there. The sunken ship is very visible on your map. It's one of the places that you had to go to get one of the power crystals, so you probably have this fast travel point already unlocked. He tells you that he found a key on the sign, and he wants you to go see what it might unlock. So go to that fast travel point, and then if you swim up and to your left, you'll find this locked chest that you'll now be able to open. When you open this, you receive one piece of the bubble one plan. So you're going to have to retrieve multiple pieces before you're going to be able to craft the bubble wand. Also, while you're down here, you may want to be picking up the starfish that you see because that's going to be a material that you're going to want later on and you're going to need quite a few of them. So then you return to Hangudan, tell him about what you found, and he says that he's heard that there's another sign over in the hot springs. So in the next part of the quest, you have to talk to Retsuko at the hot springs by the sign that's over there. So if you take the fast travel point, it's going to be off to your right. So talk to her, you see another picture. This picture has two waterfalls and the way that I found this location was to open up the map and look, is there something nearby where I can see the waterfalls? And it's actually really close. So you can see on the map kind of the two white areas coming down just to the left of the fast travel point on the map and into the pond and that's where we need to go. So we have the waterfalls over here. Climb up that. Hop over just a little bit. We have another chest with a lock on it that we can now open and we get another piece of the bubble wand plan. We'll return to Retsuko, tell her what we found. And she sends us to Peckle, who is waiting for us by the mine entrance at Gemstone Mountain. If you're not quite sure where that is, you can look on the map. It's going to have the little bubble wand symbol, and you'll be able to see Peckle there. If you're having trouble finding it, just remember those symbols will also appear on your mini map. So we'll follow Peckle into the cave. There's another sign there just to the right after you enter. And it shows you this picture. In the mines, if you go the wrong way, this can take you a very long time. So here's how you can get to this chest most efficiently. It's actually pretty close by, just like the other two. You just have to make sure that you're taking the right doors in and out of the cave. So what you're going to do is continue in the direction of that bulletin board and go out the first door on the right. So once we go through that door, we're going to keep jumping on the platforms to the right until we get to the first door. So 
So this first door is going to be pink. We're going to go in there and then we're going to jump on the platforms one more time and this is where the chest is going to be. This is the location on the map. Once you get here, open the chest and you have the final bubble one plan piece. So once again, we'll return back the way that we came. Talk to Peckle again. And he says now you need to go talk to Choco Cat. So you can fast travel to Choco Cat using the fast travel location by the gate. Give him the plans, he'll put them together. So now you have the official bubble wand plans that you'll be able to craft. But crafting it is gonna take 20 starfish five box clams, and three mechanisms. Now, if you've been swimming around a lot and picking up everything you see, you may have these. Once you have all the materials, you can finally craft the bubble wand. Now when you're swimming, you can use the bubble wand to catch critters and that's the first thing that you need to do because the quest is not over. So you need to catch those sapphire sea ponies. There's typically one spawn to the left and one spawn to the right of the comedy club. Once you have the three sea ponies and the quest acknowledges it, go back inside, talk to Hang It On. You'll gift him the sea ponies. And that will officially complete the quest. And now you have your very own bubble wand and you can swim around catching all the critters that you see. One of the things that the game doesn't really tell you is that after you get a critter in a bubble, you need to touch the bubble. I know I wasted a bit of time trying to throw multiple bubbles at them because when you talk to Choco Cat, he says that you may need to do that. And so I thought if I wasn't picking up a critter that I just needed to keep throwing more bubbles. And that's not the case. You actually just need to get them in one bubble and then touch the bubble. You'll pick them up and that'll save you a ton of time. The other thing is you will see fish when you are swimming around. The bubble wand does not work on fish as of right now. I do kind of hope that they add that in the future because I think that'd be a fun way to catch them. Once you've caught these underwater critters, you can donate them to the nature preserve just like any of the other critters. So you can't place these critters in your house the way you can all of the other critters because they need water, but you can place one in an aquarium. Hopefully this helped you with the bubble one quest. If this video did help you all, consider giving it a like to make it easier for others to find. Subscribe for more Hello Kitty Island adventure content and turn on notifications to find out the next time we go live. Hope to see you there.